this month that he has given to us along with that he gave a hukum an order rather a favor upon us a favor upon us Allah said that when you depart from Ramadan when you leave Ramadan back out when you come back out of Ramadan then leave as a muttaqi as a muttaqi this is the message that Allah Ta'ala has said nothing else as Allah Ta'ala said that when you leave Ramadan I gave to you Ramadan for this reason that you need to be a muttaqi when you leave this month this is the target Allah Ta'ala says that when you depart Ramadan when you leave Ramadan with this objective then you've attained the objective no I didn't say that lose weight I didn't give you a punishment I didn't send adab upon you that I stopped your food or your drink or I stopped your sleeping no none of this Allah says I've not done anything strict to you adab that Allah says I've given you the thawab as well for the difficulty you've gone through these difficulties that I've given to you I'm giving you thawab as well for this as well for the difficulties and the striving but so don't worry about that Allah says but this month that I'm giving to you is just for this purpose that you become a muttaqi and leave this month when you finish the month when you come out of the month of Ramadan you've totally improved and refined and, and, and changed that's you, when you can say you've utilized this month Allah has not made any other demand in this month that leave Ramadan as a, a, a worshipper or as a saqi as a generous as this and that Allah just made one demand what is that? لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ That you might, you will, you will gain consciousness of Allah, fear of Allah. So we don't have this target, we don't meet it. How can we say, oh, let's celebrate Eid, let's embrace Eid Mubarak to you, Eid Mubarak to you. Eid Mubarak is to that person who has left Ramadan as a muttaqi. Allah says, then depart Ramadan happily. Like, for example, you go to the bathroom to have a wash or a shower. And if you come back out, if you go into the shower, you take an hour and you come back out and you're still the same. So what will a person say to you? That I sent you to the shower, to a bath, you've come back the same way. So tomorrow when we come out of Ramadan, then will Allah will ask us that I gave you Ramadan so you can become a muttaqi to attain taqwa. Have you attained taqwa? What will be our answer? No, 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 I kept on doing this, I kept on doing this, I kept on doing that. Allah said, for the purpose I give you Ramadan, give me the answer to about that. If you did nothing else, but if you had attained taqwa, then your Ramadan today would have been accepted. The objective that I gave you this 30 days I would give you the reward subhanallah and you would have attained the objective as well so what is taqwa now let's think now for which Allah Ta'ala has given to us Ramadan and Ramadan is going as well it's gone muttaqi a person cannot become a muttaqi a person cannot become a muttaqi until until he doesn't shun the sins a muttaqi is a person who is always saving himself, being cautious. That if he doesn't save himself from sins, if he doesn't leave the sins, then he cannot become a muttaqi. That the real need is that Allah, I'm keeping the fast with your karam, your grace, your rahmah, your mercy, your fadl. You give me an opportunity to attain taqwa. So me, alhamdulillah, with your karam, with your fadl, the whole day I will try. Just like I will leave the food and drink, I will also shun the batni sins. Make this niyyah. Make this intention, we make this intention, Allah will say, yes, Wabi sawmi ghadin nawaitu mi Ramadan. This will not be the means to your acceptance of your fast. There's no link with the, the niya of the fast. Yes, this is the niya that I'm explaining to you for fasting. Let's correct our niya. Let's correct our niya. Immediately after keeping the fast, starting it, then go to the objective for which Allah Ta'ala is making us keep the fast, keeping us hungry, keeping us thirsty. Yes, he's, le- he's making us sleep less. No sleepy. This is the objective. Make this the near. Leave Leave the meaning of that. Come to this. Allah, your fadl, your karam, that, that you are taking me towards that striving, the effort, the hard work. I'm leaving eating, drinking, sleeping. I've eaten according to my, uh, whatever I needed. I've come now to the real playing field. And today, this sin, I'm going to fight with this sin today. I'm not going to let it come close to me. And from that one batani sin, we need to leave. One internal sin, we need to shun. Say, subhanallah, subhanallah. Listen carefully, attentively to what I'm saying. Rather, I'm explaining to myself. I'm not explaining to you. I'm speaking to myself. In reality, I'm, I'm explaining to myself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Totally understand 100%. I'm telling you, this is the fact of Ramadan. We just come here 
and we, we eat and we say what we say after that we don't know anything let's wait for the evening roasted chicken we'll cook this today we'll make pakoras today bhajis today onion bhaji until the evening in our minds all this just floats around in our mind circulates in our mind Okay, I'm not saying don't eat. Eat good things, nice things, but put the objective in front of you. Allah Ta'ala, everything you're making us do is for a reason, a purpose. Allah wants us to attain something. When you practice fasting, Allah says, I will help you, assist you. I will assist you. And this striving, hard working, hard leaving food, drink, don't worry, Allah says. Don't worry, Allah says. That you're doing this for my sake, that you, are le- you want to leave the sin for my sake. Why are you leaving sins? Why will you say for me? Why is it for Allah's sake that we're leaving sins? Understand this point as well. We're doing leaving sins for Allah for this reason because when we want to leave the sin, do it for this reason for Allah's sake. For this reason it's happened that we want to meet Allah. That's why we're leaving the sins. We are desperate. We're keen. There's a dua that Allah Ta'ala make me mushtaq of your ziyara and of your sight. Say subhanallah, subhanallah. Allah make me an ashik, a lover. Uh, extra keen, ultra keen of your deed, of your meeting you, of seeing you. Allah made me desperate that I am preparing and always that I'm going to meet my Lord. Say subhanallah, subhanallah. Yeah, what a great way of thinking and a thought. And in fact, these are stages of Ramadan. So for this purpose, reason, we say Allah, it's for you I'm doing this. Everything I'm leaving, I'm shunning. An objective, our destination is what? This will not give us the success. This is not good enough. We need to make dua. And plead to Allah. Allah, your fadal, we are now ready. We have picked up the tools and resources given to us. We are ready to have our stomachs empty after a while. This will stop them. We'll eat. We'll be thirsty and hungry and we'll be dizzy. But Allah, we are going to fight our enemy, our nafs, our base desires. That we're going to shun that sins and then come out of them. Allah says, fine, you'll say hungry, thirsty, everything. You're doing for me. In other words, to meet me. This for me. What does Allah say when He says that everything you're doing is for me? It's for meeting me, you, because you're keen to meet me, and the love to meet me. Come, just like you love that, then also the effect of your love has come over me, as well as says to meet you. I am also your mushtaq now. I will now assist you in this regard, for what? That these sins, you can leave them. Now when he hears this news, the good news, that I bought a house, a nice car, Ya I'm this now, I've achieved this now. The effects on the other person who's listening, the effects his friend, whoever, you can see the effect on that person. If after hearing what you tell him, the good news, and his heart goes crooked, and there's a crack, he starts to get hot inside, and a little bit vexed, and his face sees a change on his face, and inside he gets hot and vexed. And the thought inside him is generating, generate, developing. Although it's his friend, thoughts within him this is the start. And in his thoughts, a deep, weird feeling and emotion. Rather than repaying that good news, he starts to get um, frustrated and upset. And is being happy, demonstrating his happiness to his friend. He says, how did he get this house? Huh? How comes he attained this? A deep dislike and hatred. When this feeling, emotion starts, then consider you have an internal sickness, batini sickness inside you. When after him someone's happiness, somebody's fame, somebody's money, somebody's mal, somebody's beauty, somebody's speech, somebody's taqreer, somebody's ilm, somebody's darajat, somebody's elevation, somebody's status, somebody's uh, money on wealth, somebody's uh, riches and wealth and money, if, due to that, inside you, you start to ban and hatred, and it increases, increases, and your heart doesn't even say, rather from the heart you get happiness, that I want him to lose this, is better. Why did he get these things? Why don't I get these things? How did he attain this? How can this be? How can he be the owner of this? To this extent, he has the desire, that if he realizes, that that thing has gone from his name, then he starts to get happy. Then my brothers, this is a big disease of the Akhra, and this is called Hasad. Envy. That thief has been caught. Now why are you upset? What's wrong with you? How is it effective? On the other hand, when he gives you good news and you get happiness, look at the difference. You get happiness, feel good, and on your face you'll be a little bit of a smile, a nice smile, and you'll say, MashaAllah, you say, SubhanAllah, Ya, you got a nice car, do dua, I can also get a car like this, say, SubhanAllah, SubhanAllah. 
Yar, you got this car, do dua that I also have a need of a car. Yar, you got a house, do dua for me as well, so I can also get a house. Mubarak to you, congratulations. And Allah says, this man, he is deserving of praise. This is nice feeling, good regard, just like he's got, I'll give to you as well, Allah says. SubhanAllah. So we need to turn, we need to turn from malice towards positive envy, positive appreciation. Allah has given us Ramadan, 30 days. Change your malice and hatred towards positive envy, positive gratitude, and being grateful for what that person's got. This is the maqsad of Ramadan. Am I right or am I wrong? This is fasting, isn't it? First fast are you keeping? Yeah? Is it the first fast? In the hadith, the words of the hadith I'm sharing with you, the meaning of the hadith, that this is such a severe sickness. What does it do? That insan, it 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 twists him. Allah says, the Prophet of Allah said, ajib point, ajib hadith. What, what does this sickness do of, of malice, hatred? It's not your sickness. Hasad, this is not the sickness of a mu'min. Because a person who says, La ilaha illallah, he recites La ilaha illallah, and he has that feeling with it. No, La ilaha isa rasulallah. La ilaha someone else rasulallah. They're all rasuls. But whoever has got La ilaha illallah, Muhammad rasulallah, that person within him, he did not have this sickness. This sickness was the sickness of the previous nations. It continued, continued, transferred, transferred, and it's come to you. Why? Why? This is not the words of the hadith. Tafsir, I'm telling you now. It transferred, transferred, transferred. It's coming to you. Because you have the knuckle of your deen and you adopted their deen. Leba should be like that. Walking like that. Eating like that. Yeah? Child, my child should be like that. Everything of my life should be like, like these are, they are. Abu Hag, we have ended that imagination that everything of my life should be like he was, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, subhanallah. Our color has changed. So when we change our color, we absorb ourselves in the other way, when we immerse ourselves in the other way. And knowingly and knowingly, those things that are in those qawms previous to us, such bad things, negatives in the previous nations, the previous qawms, may we give our all to the sadqai Rasulullah, so some Allah Ta'ala washed away for us, made a plain simple deen for us, give us the Quran in our hand here. This is the way of life for you. In which the Taurat enjoyments, the Injil enjoyments, the Ahud, everything. Allah has put all enjoyments of the previous deeds. Imam ul the Kitab of the Quran, Allah Ta'ala has allowed it to come to our heart and He's given us Ramadan. MashaAllah. Ramadan will come, pick up the Quran. Read, 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 Allah Ta'ala says. What a great honor Allah has given to this Ummah. Honor. Have you seen this? So then, this is the situation Allah Ta'ala says. Allah Ta'ala has given us this karam, this mercy, such a great favor. And what have we done? There's such a great Ramadan, such a beautiful ibadah. And we have destroyed by our sins this greatness of Ramadan. Allah says, this sin is not even yours. This is transferred, 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 passed on, passed on, passed on. To your tafsir, this sin is coming to you. And you do as much knuckle of them. And that's the more this has penetrated you, do Tawbah today, that we do not do their knuckle imitation. Yes, in masjids we come like this. We're going to sujood like this. We do tawaf like this. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiwa. What a big punishment Allah has given to us. The big disease has come to this into us. Yes, that, that Allah says that I dislike that way. You put their ways on and he whose way Allah Ta'ala loves and holds dear and beloved and gives beautiful words. What is that? We have left that, shunned that, discarded that. Imama, subhanallah, turban. Who likes this? Our Rabb Allah. Dari, beard, who likes the beard? Our Rabb Allah. White color, who likes it? Our Rabb Allah. Who likes it? Because his Habib, sallallahu alayhi wa loves these things. Likes these things. So Allah likes these things. No, no, I don't want to do this. No, I want to do what they do. And I want to earn paradise. And I want to get shifa of who? Of Rasulullah He whose imitation we dislike, the women and the men and our children don't like to imitate. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But we don't like that. We don't want to imitate him. But what we want him, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, to intercede for us. Subhanallah, servants of Allah. What a great choice you got there. What a contrast. Well, how great way you're bringing up your children. With your eyes, you're looking at them doing naqal, imitating with your eyes the flames and drama of their life. With your eyes, you see day and night inside them. They're lost. And what do you ask? Shifa. His Shifa. Subhanallah. Whose opposition we are doing in our daily lives. We are asking for his Shifa. And weird excuses. Weird excuses for not practicing. For this knuckle. Weird excuses of the knuckle that we do. 
Strange excuses. Man habba sunnati man fa man habani. There's no greater guarantee than this. That you do amal on my sunnah, just try it, I will love you. Ma kana ma yifi jannati. And whoever I love, ma kana ma yifi jannati. I will take him with myself into paradise. Subhanallah. No, no, no. I like the knuckle of the others. And we say that we're akal as well. He who does their knuckle, imitates them. We say their fundamental is extreme, backward. Is he got akal? What's he doing? Who's he following? Which path is he going on to backwards? We say, we laugh at them, joke, mock them. He's destroyed, we say. So brothers, that knuckle, the hadith is coming. Due to the knuckle, the obedience, this is what's happening. That sin, that transfer, transfer, transfer. Such a big disease, such a big disease of that hasad, whoever's hasad inside him, is stated that he is twisted, changed, two meanings come out here. That person, he is twisted, mooned, mooned. You understand? Just like his hair, you know, if it's totally shaven off, wiped away, taken away. Yes, so if I've got hair and they're shaven off, so I have, will there not be a difference in my look, in my appearance? Of course it will come in. I've got hair now, nice hair, I go home and I shave off the hair, I come back, I'll be bullheaded. They say, mashallah, you suddenly change, your appearance has changed. Your hayat, your Christian. So that person will be shaven, totally transformed, totally transformed due to a hasad, due to that disease of hasad, what's the punishment? That he would be transformed. His deen will be spoilt, disfigured. Disfigured. That deen I gave to him, Allah says, that deen is not, not remained with him now. Due to hasab, that, that sickness is from, from those centuries, that Quran's gone, that deen's gone, that salah's gone. His appearance has changed. Disfigured. I'm talking to you the words of the hadith. You can read this hadith in Mishqat. Should we do hasad or not? Tell me. Hasad. Yes. So a person's deen is dis- consider you are hasid, I am. First and foremost, accept number one, step number one, that I'm a hasid. I've got this sickness within me. I'm a patient. Step number one. When you accept you've got the sickness, the malady, yes, that I'm a hasid, I've got the sin of hasid. When you realize I'm jealous, then you told you step number two to solve the problem. That from Allah Ta'ala, great name Allah Ta'ala gives to you. Step number two, that when, due to which hasid will come out when you do this, what is that? The salah, whatever you pray, when you've got an opportunity to do good, when you get an opportunity to pray salah, ibadah, worship, first and foremost raise your hands and do dua for that person, Allah, that person I've got hasid against, what have you given to him, car or house, which has caused me to be jealous, from the depths of my heart, Allah, I request, I plead Allah, give him a bigger car, a better car, give him more money, more wealth, and his mal, if it's mal, whatever you're jealous against, due to that, then do dua in depth, in depth, do dua, the Allah gives him more. The more you do dua, Allah Ta'ala will give you the remedy, the cure. He will increase the remedy and the cure. Say subhanallah, the subhanallah. This is such a great cure and remedy that, for example, when our body is cut, when our body is cut, the beautiful, for example, when you have a body physically, you need to get the remedy, the doctor makes you unconscious, gives you the anesthetic, so that you cannot feel that pain, so that we can give them the cure. Then they cut open that part of the body where they need to do operation, we need to take something out, there's only one cure, give him, put him to sleep, anesthetic. So this that stage, when you raise your hands to do dua for the other person, when you're the hasid, so when you do this dua for that person you're jealous against, then you will have a high stage operation at that time, you will feel pain at that time, pride will be burning, and, and the fire will be raging, the ashes will be uh, flying around. But when you raise your hands to be safe from the adab, Allah, no, give to him, give to him, give to him, give to him, give him much more, give him much more. So these are the two opposite contrasts at that time. Because the operation is taking place within you, the operation. Brothers, the next cure, beautiful remedy, solution, from the roots the hasad will disappear. Hasad. So that's the step number two we just discussed. Number three, وَمِن شَرِ حَسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدْ Quran. The Quran tells us, doesn't it? قُلْ عَوْضُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقْ مِنْ شَرِ مَا خَلَقْ وَمِنْ شَرِ غَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقُوْ وَمِنْ شَرِ نَفَاتَةِ فِي الْقُدْ وَمِنْ شَرِ حَسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدْ This is put to the end. Why? Because it's such a severe point. Important point. Allah says, the best remedy for hasad is that turn to me. Allah says, turn to me. Come to my protection. The greatest protection of Allah is what? What is Allah Ta'ala's greatest attention? Focus on the greatest protection. We want Allah's refuge. Seek refuge. Allah, save me from hasad. Save me from hasad. Save me from hasad. I've done these sins. Allah, save me from the fire of hasad. When a person's totally uh, hasn't 
got the capability. He seeks refuge in Allah. Man shari hasidini the asad. Allah is such a big sin, severe sin. Is with it beyond your control. The final remedy and cure is come to Allah, come to the refuge of Allah, and the best protection of Allah is what the hadith states. Hadith explains to us the greatest protection of Allah is what that when the servant, when shayateen, they are running after him, he runs and runs away, he runs away from the darkness, from the evil. You can't see any other protection, no other refuge. Soon as he sees a castle, the food, he goes into the castle, the food, he closes it, seals it, and the enemies that are outside, they can't get to him, they can't get close to him. Well, it says, my servant, if you come into my protection, then you will have come into the best protection, which is my dhikrullah. When you do dhikrullah, then you've come into a great food that you are protected from all of the vice and the evil. Subhanallah. Say subhanallah, subhanallah. That's why we do dhikr, our Sufi individuals, day and night in the khanqah. 